Jesus, you love death. And you love death. I know it's on you. Death, death is on all of you. It's on your continents. Death is on you. Death. Death. You love, you love death. Because you hate Jesus. Jesus is life. Jesus is life. How do you die if he's life? Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Jesus Christ wants to give you life. You have no life. You're dead. You're dead in your trespasses and sins. You you have no purpose in life. You don't know the meaning of life because you do not love Jesus. You love death. You love smoking marijuana. You love having sex Oh yes, you love all kinds of evil, but Jesus Christ wants to give you life. Jesus Christ wants to give you true life, abundant life, everlasting life. You need, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. You must be born again. You must be born again or you will spend eternity in hell. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you to go to hell. I don't want you in eternal torment because you've been lied to by Satan. There's a devil. There's a demon. But if you turn to Jesus Christ, you will be forgiven of your sins. You will have a clean conscience. You don't need a smoking joint to alter the state of your mind. You all do. I know because you don't love yourself. You hate yourself. No, no, you're miserable. You have no rest. You have no peace. You have no joy. You don't know who you are. No, you have a wicked heart. A wicked heart. You have a wicked heart. Your human nature. Your human nature. You are selfish. You are self-centered because you were born in sin. You are no, no way. No way. Not that kind of attitude. Are you walking in the spirit? I'm walking in the spirit. Oh no. I'm preaching to you. Hey, I care about you. I care. Someone's got to step in your life. Someone's got to try to warn you. Someone's got to try to love you. I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, yes, I'm trying to love you, man. I want you to enter into heaven. I'm trying to love you. Look at your son. What's wrong with that? That is love. No, that is love. Sodomy. Sodomy will destroy you. It will. God says it. God says it. And I will tell you the truth. This is the truth. God said sodomy is sin. I didn't say it. God is the one that said anal sex is wrong. God says it. You need to read the Bible. I try to get you to read the Bible. But that's not your problem. Your rebellion is your problem. Your, your attitude. Your selfishness. It's your human nature. Oh, yes. It's a dog eat dog world. Oh, yes. We all are selfish. Oh, I'm telling you. No, it's called your human nature. His human nature. Nature, his human nature, no, mine, mine, no, and then, no, then I'm born again. No, then I've been born again. I've been changed by the power of God. God has done no. something in my life. No, no, let it go, let it go. Listen, why would listen? Why would you get upset if there is no God? You wouldn't care about me. The reason you're upset is because there's a God. If there's no God, this is a joke. This would be a joke. Why would you want to try to kill me? There is no God. There's no God. If there is no God, then why would you be upset? Go do what you want. There is a God. Look at you. Look at your attitude. If I was out here talking about Mickey Mouse, none of you would care. If I was out talking about dinosaurs, dinosaurs and God, no, minute I say Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is God, and that Jesus Christ says you are a rebellious woman, and if you repent, yeah, you know what a rebellious woman is? No, a rebellious woman is one who will not submit to God and follow God, the creator who made you, who loves you. Who has demonstrated his love to you? Why would you be upset? Who says I don't follow God? Because your attitude.
attitude. Yeah. Your vocabulary yeah. says, let no filthy word come out of your I mouth. Your See, if you walk in the spirit, you know God. Then there's going to be an evidence of, of God in your life. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you like hoop dick? <laughs> How sick can you be, man? I'm telling you, I love Jesus Christ. I've been born again. I was just like you. I was a rebel. I was living in sin. And then God, God changed me. God changed me. He will change you. I know he'll change you. Oh, I think he will. He loves you so much. But you, you, you don't even know who you are. But I'm telling you, look at you can do this. You can you can do whatever you want. I'm telling you, there's consequences. There's consequences. And when you, no, I don't. You don't understand the consequences are sure. You don't understand the consequences are severe. Severe. They're forever. Eternal. Forever. Sad. It's all right, man. I care about you. I care about you and enough to step out here and not to tell you the truth. Even though you hate me, even though you want to kill me, even though you want to get rid of me, look at your attitudes. I love you. I'm out here saying I love you. I love you enough to tell you the truth. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard, it's hard to stand out here. Really, something's taking place in my life. But why would you be upset at me? Why would you be upset? Why? Why? Why would you have all those because words? I'm not coming to you and doing that. You are if there is Jesus. no God, then Jesus. you wouldn't be upset. Jesus Christ right if there's here. no God, you wouldn't be upset, Christ. but there is. It's and Jesus. you're convicted of sin. God has Christ. convicted it's you. Christ. You're not going to win. Right you got to read the end of the book. I serve the living God. You serve a fallen angel. I serve the living God. I have the power of God in my life. God has changed me. And now, now God wants to change you. You want to be changed? Will you have peace? Will you have joy? You have a hope? You have satisfaction? You have a promise from God? You inherit the earth. fucking life. What is your life? My life what is not feeling all this fucking bullshit hey. that you're trying to tell us is No, real. your life, your life is My a life, dead end yeah. trip you because you have no rest, you have no peace, you have no satisfaction, you can't get no satisfaction. Oh. My satisfaction is fucking and smoking me and drinking But no, you know why, you know why? I know you can do that, you can do that, but that is not satisfying because you got to do it again. You got to do it again. If something that satisfies you, you don't have to keep doing it to do it because I got it and I want you to have it. I don't want anything that you Okay, now you can choose that and that's your choice and I'm not going to follow you home. All I'm doing is standing in a park and I want to tell people what God has done in my life. And why can't I? You, If you have something, tell these people. If you have the meaning of life, tell these people. The meaning of life? Yeah, tell them that. Listen to the meaning of life. That's the meaning of life. Okay. And that's and I'm not upset at him. I'm not upset at him. He can he can say that. You can say it's not upset. Okay. You you can say that. I say you have the freedom. You have a free will and say the meaning of life is smoking marijuana, getting laid, and doing whatever you want. You can do that. I'm not upset at you. But why when I come and say the meaning of life is serving and loving God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and you get mad at me? Why? Because, because God is not real. God is not a person. God never was. Okay, but if God is not real, then you shouldn't be mad at me, just like I'm not mad at you. I'll let you go do those things. But, if, but listen, if I know something that has taken place in my life that has made me fully satisfied, I want to give it to you. And if it's real, I don't fucking want it. Okay, if you don't want it, if none of but nobody wants it, then you can go your way and live your life the way you want to. I'm not stopping you to do that. I'm not stopping you to do that. I'm not taking your weed. I'm not telling your girlfriend to stop having sex with you. You can go do it. All I'm saying is that if there is a God, and the Bible is true, and Jesus Christ did raise from the dead, shouldn't you examine these things to see? No, because it didn't fucking happen. Okay, now if it did not happen, he can, that's fine. If it did not happen, I, I say that then you can go have your, go do what you want. But it's happened in my life. And it's if it happened in my life, I want it to happen in your life. Hey, I want, can I talk to you?
Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> Listen. I have no mothers in my own. No. Look at it. I have two mothers. My parents are dead. They love me. Okay. Okay. Look at it. It's not my. It's not mine to make up the laws. What's an angle by it? Because I know God is speaking to you.